Um, Deputy Chair and House, uh, a couple of weeks ago I had the opportunity to attend a function that um, I regularly go to in my electorate. It's the Illawarra Business Chamber's um, annual business awards. And of course, for so many businesses in my electorate, as I'm sure in all of my colleagues here, uh, electorates. It's been a really tough year, uh, and uh, this award was an opportunity to particularly acknowledge uh, a range of businesses who, um, you know, even in those toughest of times, have uh, been able to really make significant achievements um, in their business. The Illawarra Business Chamber uh, has a very rigorous process to determine the winners of the, the categories and um, a, a panel um, that uh, has you know, very esteemed local people who go through a whole process of application and interview to decide who the winners are. Uh, so I would, would like to firstly acknowledge um, the winners of uh, this year's awards. The Excellence in Customer Service Award was won by Easy Agile and Ericom One M2K. The Excellence in Innovation and Adaptability was won by his boy Elroy. The Excellence in Import and Export was won by iTree. The Excellence in Sustainability by Burnett Trees. The Excellence in Digital Service Delivery by his boy Elroy. Excellence in Workplace Culture by Phenocom. Resilience in Micro Business by Dr. Olga Labal and Associates. The Resilience in Small Business by His Boy Elroy, Resilience in Business by IAOH, the 2020 Inspiring Employee was Novitsa Blaseski of Home Instead Senior Care, the 2020 Inspiring Business Leader was Adam McMahon of Dignam Real Estate, and the overall 2020 IMB Bank Business of the Year, probably not surprising to anyone, was His Boy Elroy. And, uh, I just want to um, say they're all magnificent, wonderful businesses, and I've, I've dealt with them in many different capacities over time. But I do want to say something about his boy, Elroy, uh, the overall winner and the winner of several categories, um, and the owners, Lachlan and Selena Stevens. Um, they are involved in a program called Barstool Brothers. It originally started out as a group of guys catching up on a monthly basis at the restaurant at his boy Elroy in the name of men's mental health. The Barstool Brothers has now grown to a group of over 600 people running over 10 events per month at different venues around the Illawarra. Events like golf days, trivia nights, morning weeks, lawn bowls, family barbecue, beach days and so forth. Um, they also were the Hispo Elroy also participated uh, in the Relay for Life this year. Oscar, who's the son of Angie Howes, is this year's ambassador for the Cancer Council's Wollongong Relay for Life, teamed up with the crew from His Boy Elroy to make his mum something special as she fights her second battle with cancer. So they he came up with the Her Boy Oscar Burger. Oscar's creation was a double beef patty, ma maple bacon, liquid cheddar cheese and Dorito extravaganza. <laughs> and it sold for a week in October for $25, fries included, with the team and his boy Elroy donating $15 of every burger to the Wollongong Cancer Council, uh, overall raising $3,800. Uh, it's a magnificent um, achievement. There was, I have to say, a donation of 2,480 from Mitch Henry, an individual donation of $2,200. Um, a massive amount raised and um, really excellent work, Oscar and uh, his boy Elroy team. And in the short time uh, left to me, I do want to acknowledge that I had the chance to meet with travel agents in my area. Boy, are they doing it tough. They're, they're busier than ever before but they're doing work that ha is actually costing them money because they're looking after their customers, trying to get them refunds, rearrange bookings and so forth. Um, this is a sector who has really done it tough. And I was able to meet um, with a number of local travel agents and I want to put on the record uh, a call that I know members of the other side have done as well uh, to the government to please look at this sector and see if there is not more that can be done to support these many small businesses in our electorates in the travel agency sector. Thank you, Mr Speaker.